Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, right in the middle of cooking, Sunday uh, dinner, and uh, got a little spot on my shirt, so that's what that is, a spot of water. So it should dry up soon. Um, but today, what I wanted to do uh, was actually share my exciting dream that I had um, where I saw Jesus. And I can't remember if it, it was either in the year of 2011 or uh, 2012, but I did decide to journal my experience uh, September 23rd, uh, 2012. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit of my uh, testimony uh, that I experienced of a dream that I had uh, where I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus. I had a dream about the rapture. I was upstairs in my mother's old house and heard the trumpets. I think I looked outside and literally saw people disappear into thin air. I knew it was time to go with Jesus. Then I saw my sister downstairs. Then I saw Jesus talking with my mother on the couch. Um, and when I dream, I dream in color. So um, when I saw Jesus, he was sitting on a blue couch. And I remember he prayed with my sister and she didn't go anywhere. And Jesus said something like, give it a moment. I think. And then it was my turn to go. I bowed at his feet because I knew exactly who he was. And all I can think is how down to earth he was. He's really down to earth and he had a calm presence, made me calm. He then prayed for me. Then we were interrupted. My mother then became a talk show host with a mic and people, um, or the media, I should say, began to ask Jesus questions in which I cannot remember. I guess that was uh, not for me to hear. And then my mom said something like either time's up or no more questions, or this is it, no more questions, uh, or something to that extent. Then I woke up, I turned a little to my right and saw this tall manly shadow hovering um, close over me. Um, by that, by the way, that tall figure looked like a silhouette of, of gray, a very tall silhouette. So I knew it was an angel. I was startled, but not really terrified. I think it was an angel. All I can remember was how down to earth Jesus was and what he was wearing. I was nervous scared and excited at the same time. What Jesus was wearing, he wore a blue green t-shirt with rhinestones. Um, and they were like all over his shirt. And he had on blue jeans, um, brown cowboy boots. And I figured this means something. So I asked God uh, to allow me to hold on to this memory and thanked him for the dream. I looked up the color blue-green because he had on a blue-green t-shirt. And guess what? Blue-green is associated with elements such as water. Um, so when you think of water, you think of the Holy Spirit. Um, the chakra is the heart. Um, and the key words to blue-green are cool, refreshing, imaginative, motivated, dynamic, calm, peaceful, joyful, relaxed, truthfulness, healing, meditation, tranquility, forgiveness, patience, sleep, dream, work. Sounds like Jesus to me. Um, properties, the color or turquoise promotes intuition. Turquoise, the color of communication. Too much and we can become over analytical, fussy and egocentric, pushing your heart out of the way and letting logic make all of your decisions. This part was important because this is what I was doing when I was looking at all the uh, videos on YouTube and getting um, quite confused about the rapture. So at that time, um, 
I was searching for more information uh, to put things together um, regarding the rapture because I felt like this was something that God wanted me to do at the time. And I just so happened to have been listening to, um, which I don't own the rights to the music, was Yolanda Adams opened my heart uh, before I went to bed and had that dream and saw Jesus. All right. Um, so I was trying to get some clarification. So I, I guess Jesus showed me uh, literally. Um, but back to the color blue green. It also says, too little and we can become secretive clothes, confused about what we want, and possibly sneaky or a bit paranoid. I was becoming paranoid because I was watching too many YouTube videos at this point, and not enough of the Word of God. And that's what feeds you, the Word of God, which is the truth. The truth shall set you free. And the truth is the Word of God, and that's where you need to be fed first before you um, look at anything else or hear anything else so that you can have the spirit of discernment um, which helps you to know what is right and what is wrong uh, when things come your way so you need to continue to stay in the word um, uh, lastly, on the subject of this color, um, it says when the chakra heart is blocked, we experience emotional problems in our relationships to other people. Now let's look at the brown cowboy boots. Brown, element, earth, order, dependability, stability, humility, grounded. Keywords to brown, reliability, elegance, security, Healing, animals, home, grounding, foundations, earthly, stability, grounding, sophisticated, considerate, conventional, orderly. It sounds like Jesus again to me. Uh, properties of brown is the color of earth. It is comforting, nurturing, fertile, and stable. It also gives you a feeling of relaxation and homecoming. Think brown leather, garden, and home. Brown makes you feel cozy and safe and warm. I remember when I said I felt peace, at peace when I saw him. Um, also says, put some brown in your life if you want a solid, wholesome feeling. And no one can satisfy your heart like Jesus. That's why he died on the cross for our sins, that we may have everlasting life. Fulfilling our hearts. Um... Also, it says to fit in, to fit a feel like you belong, a connection with earth, to feel stable and grounded, orderliness and convention. Um, it's kind of, it came from the website, um, gemstonegifts.com slash color. Um, I didn't meditate. I believe I meditated about this before I even went there. Um, but I felt like it was the Lord who led me to that um, at the time because you have, there's a thin line between uh, those type of things when, when searching for information. So always uh, go to the word first, find out what the colors of the Bible mean, and then you can outsource. Um, all right, so remember when I said Jesus was very down to earth? And that stayed in my head at the time. Uh, before I even looked at the meanings of the colors. So, um, just remember that. Jesus also had rhinestones on his shirt. And I'm going to guess that these are the stars because at the time of the rapture, he is going to open the stargate to take his people um, out of the earth, which has been prophesied many times on uh, YouTube and uh, internet and in the Bible which is the true word, all right? Um, I also saw his hands, and I did see closed wounds from the crucifixion. All right, and I'm just reading uh, what was in my journal here. Praise be to God for this revelation. I love you all, which I do. God is love, and uh, God says to love everybody, love your neighbor, so I love you all. 
Um, God is good. Just believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you will have nothing to fear. And then, um, during that time, uh, I had also had went to church uh, previously before that. And the pastor was preaching about God and, and your heart and how he gets through to you through your heart. And if the heart is sick, God can heal it. Um, so if you refer back to the meaning of blue-green chakra, it was the heart. There you go. So um, when I saw him, uh, this is not out, out of my uh, journal. Um, as I mentioned that I had felt a, a sense of peace and uh, calmness and um, just uh, being in his presence was peace. And it was a peace like none other. And when you see him, you know exactly who he is and you are obedient. Your, even your body, your body even knows um, who he is. And you immediately bow down to him glory be to god um i looked at his eyes and he had uh enchanting eyes he had uh i don't know it was something about his eyes but he was a little bit fat and um i think there's a, a bible verse in, in the book of matthew i had to find it uh, you uh which i probably will um add um to the comments that mentions that uh, he's described described himself as a little bit glutinous um, and he was a little bit fat kind of short um, had a little bit of a receding hairline when I saw him. Uh, uh, so but at the time when I saw him it didn't matter to me of those things um, didn't matter what color he was didn't matter um, how he looked it just mattered that he was the king of kings and the Lord of Lords, um, and uh, that surpassed everything else. Um, and I was just happy to see him. Uh, and at the same time, like, whoa, whoa, he came to see me, you know. And he laid hands on me, and I saw the holes in, in his hands um, uh, from the crucifixion. He died on the cross for our sins, and he had the scars, they were there, um, and that was Jesus, uh, that was Jesus, and, you know, he was sitting on the blue couch, and um, blue signifies royalty, um, and I think he knew that I would want some type of proof, as if that wasn't proof enough, um, so I went and looked up the colors and, and saw what they meant. Um, and it described him uh, quite well. Uh, but he's, you know, he's everything and more. And God of infinite possibilities. Um, so today I just wanted to share my testimony of the dream that I saw Jesus and um, that he laid hands on me in the dream. And when I woke up, there was an angel standing over me. Um, so there's a reason why it came to visit me. And uh, um, today is part of the reason why, um, part of the reason why I should say that he laid hands on me because I never expected myself to be on a YouTube uh, uh, giving uh, lessons and, um, and, and such. To help you guys um, get to Jesus. So uh, sometimes he has uh, things laid out, plans that are laid out for, for us, um, things that he wants us to do uh, that you may not necessarily want to do or never imagined it, but once you walk into that destiny of yours that he has given you, he will bless you. So that's why I say J-E-S-U-S. I'm going to continue to stress. Do God's work and be blessed. All right, everybody. You guys have a wonderful evening. I love you. And happy Sunday.